Hello friends and welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to explain you how to write the MATLAB program for Rangekutta method of fourth order. The Rangekutta method of fourth order is most widely used to solve the ordinary differential equation as it gives mostly accurate results amongst all the method. Let's consider the differential equation x square plus y square and we have to find the value of y at a given value of x. So initially we are writing the given data that is the given function which is denoted as f then the initial values of x and y so this is the initial value of x and initial value of y which both are zero step size is given as a 0.2 which is denoted as a h the value of x at which we have to find the value of y is denoted as a xg and given as a 0.4 and the value of y which we are going to find is denoted as yg then first we are going to find the number of steps required to get the solution. So the formula is xg minus x0 by h and for this numerical we require the two number of iterations. So instead of xg and yg you may use xn and yn variables also. Then for this RK fourth order method we are going to find the that is the k1, k2, k3 and k4. So k1 will be calculated using the formula h into function of x0 comma y0 then k2 k3 and k4 will be calculated using these formulas then we have to calculate the weighted mean that is a k which is calculated as k1 plus twice k2 plus twice k3 plus k4 and whole divided by 6 then we are finding the value of yg using the formula y0 so these steps are used to find the value of yg for first iteration if there are more number of iterations then for the next iteration we are taking the increment as x0 as a x0 plus h and y0 becomes yg and the steps is repeated for the given number of iterations and then we will be get the desired value of y for this numerical we require the two number of iteration so by putting the different values of x, y and h values will be get the solution and this solution is given in the tabulated format. So for iteration 1 these are the different values and for iteration 2 we will get the different values as x, k1, k2, k3, k4, k and finally yg. So the required value of y is 0 0.0213 at x is equal to 0.4. Now we are going to write the MATLAB program for this numerical. So let's open the MATLAB. This is the MATLAB program written for the Range Kutta fourth order method which is also denoted as RK4. Initially again the comments are used then CLC clear all and close all. Then we are taking the input from the user as a function which is assigned to f. Initial value of x will be assigned to x0. Initial value of y assigned to y0. Step size assigned to h and the value of x at which value of y is going to find is assigned to xg. Then the number of steps are calculated that is nothing but the number of iterations using xg minus x0 by h. Then we are calculating the different values of k that is k1, k2, k3, k4 then the value of k and value of yg and this process is repeated for the number of iteration so that's why this for loop is used and for next iteration x0 becomes x0 plus h and y0 becomes yg and we are printing the different values using the same syntax so you can see here the fprintf syntax is used in bracket slash n is used for the new line then percent d percent point four f slash t percent point four f number of percent point four f are used in this line so i am going to explain you a step by step so initially at percent d we are going to print the iteration so if you observe here initially i have used this i variable so at the place of percent d the i will be get printed so i is nothing but the number of iteration then percent point four f so percent f is used for printing the floating point value and here 0.4 is used it means it will print the values up to four decimal place then slash t is used to give the tab be between the two numbers so you will be get the appropriate space between the two numbers so there are different 0.4 f's are used so at percent d we are going to print i value that is iteration then 
at first percent 0.4f we are going to print x0 value then second k1 value then k2 k3 k4 k and yz value so that's why this number of 0.4f you can see if you not want to print all these value and if you want to print only the yg value then also you can use in the same fashion as we are using Euler's method and then the loop will be get end and for the number of iteration these values will be get printed so that's why initially the slash n is used and we are printing the header row at the top so that's why this display syntax is used and then at the header we are going to print the iteration x, k1, k2, k3, k4, k and yg values as you seen in the previous slide while we are solving the numerical. So let's run this program. This program I already saved. So by clicking on this run icon, I am directly going to click on this command window. So it asks me to enter the given function. Our function having two variables x and y. So then we have to use at the red symbol then in bracket x comma y and our given function is x square plus y square so it should be written as it is so x square will be written as x into x or you may be use x then cap symbol and then 2 so it means x square plus y square so y cap 2 then hit the enter key it asks you to the enter the initial value of x0 which is 0 as per given in numerical y0 value is also 0 step size is 0.2 and the value of xg is 0.4 so when you hit the enter key you can see here the header row is printed and then next to that the iterations and the values of x k1 k2 k3 k4 k and yg values up so i am going to click on this arrow icon and undo so this command window is is coming outside so you can see here the iterations below of that the iteration number is printed below the x values of x k1 k2 k3 k4 k and values of yg is printed for two number of iterations because for this numericals there are only two iterations are used so you can observe here same values will be get and this same values we are printed in the matlab now you can observe uh, in program initially I am not using the slash t so there is no proper space between this iteration and x value and in x and k1 value there is an appropriate space is provided so slash t is used to provide the appropriate space that is the tab between the two characters so in this way you can able to write the MATLAB program and get the solutions so I am again clicking on this arrow icon and again dock so this command window is again appear on the same place and now again we are going to verify these answers with the solvers so solver syntax is same as we use in the Euler's method in square bracket x comma y equal to ODE 23 in bracket the function is defined using the f variable then comma the x span again in square bracket so x0 value is 0 then colon step size is 0.2 colon and xg value which is 0.4 then after bracket complete give comma and y0 value is 0 and when you hit the enter key you will be get the results for different x values and y values so you can see here the initial value of x is 0 y 0 at x 0.2 you will be get the value 0 0.0027 and 0 0.4 0 0.0214 so these values will be get same as the values will be get using the MATLAB program so this value is at 0 0.2 and this value is at 0 0.4 so in this way you can able to get the solutions for the RK fourth order method using the MATLAB program. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.